Okay, so in the previous lecture, what we discussed, we discussed the user interface, some of the common views in the, in, uh, the user interface in the, uh, in the book. And we talked about where and when to use them. We talked about some of the common features for those views. Today, in this one, we're going to cover two of those views and we're going to take a look at them closer. One of them is the label, and one of them is an image view. All right. Okay. So if I go to the, if you look at the content of this uh, chapter, it talks about when you want to plan plan your app. Usually, you can't just dive into creating an app. You want to plan it. You want to say what are the what are the functions, what are the features. Who's going to use it, right? So if you look at an example, it's like you're sending messages out. In most cases, it probably started with just example like this, questions like this. These are the features that I'm going to have. Send a message. Share photos with my friends and family. And post short messages and see short messages from others. So it, these apps usually typically start with functions like that. So before you start doing your app, you need to decide who's going to use it, what are the features in this app, so you have a better idea, all right? And here's some example. You can have scenarios, like in, if you studied object-oriented programming or object-oriented analysis and design, these are use cases. How do you use your system and how in each use case what are the sequence of events that can happen, yeah? So what are we going to do? We're going to create the app, and then we're going to talk about good and bad designs. And this example, for example, here, if you look at this, that's pretty bad design because the fonts are very hard, the text is very hard to read, and the font colors, the theme, it really it's not appropriate, yeah? So you need to be careful. So here is one way you can design your app with a proper, you know, white background, with an image, and then a, a label on top, all right? So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna add the label, we're gonna see how we add images to your project, and we're gonna see how to fix the issues, the clipping issues that could happen with a label or with an image, all right? When we display an image, we use different settings here. Different, For example, you say scale to fill. When you scale to fill an image, that could cause you a problem because the images usually are not uh, square, they're rectangular. And if you try to change the, the size of that image, it can get distorted. All right, so you need, you can use any of these depending on the image, right? So you can use aspect fill. The aspect fill allow you to keep the uh, aspect of your image, but try to fill as, try to uh, maintain the aspect ratio of the image and try to fit it within the image view that you have. Or aspect fill, it will actually try to fill the entire image and it would resize the fill the image with the bounds overview image, uh, the image uh, within the image frame. So remember, if views has frame. But again, here you need to try it to see what happens on your to your image, right? It depends on the image and the size of your image. Okay. Uh, for a text field, a label, this could happen. This could happen, and if the text, if we, this is how we can fix it. Usually, we change the size of the label, or we can actually decrease or increase the font as we want. Right? Same thing with the image. The image can also have clipping issues. For example, if you have an image view with a different aspect ratio than the image display, this is the image view. Then this is uh, uh, this could cause a problem. So. You could choose aspect fill, content mode. Some of the uh, some of the image will overflow the bounds of the image view. All right. So if you do aspect fill, it will overflow the bound, like in this example. 
right? So you need again to decide on how you display the image. All right? Yeah. What do you mean? You'll see it in a minute. I'll show you. Okay. So let's go ahead and create. Let's find some images first of all. Let's add an image to our application. So I'm gonna find, you know, uh, let's, if you wanna take this image, I'm just gonna save it and I'll put it on my desktop here. So we don't have to find another image, okay? So I just got the screenshot of that image. All right, so here's my image that we're going to use in our application. So we're going to create a new project, a new app. It's a, an iOS app. It's an, uh, the first app, the first template. Then we click on next. And we're going to call this displaying data. Okay. You can put your organization name. We're going to use the storyboard. We're going to use the app delegate. We're going to use the Swift language. And then you click on next. I'm going to keep it on the desktop for now. Then we click on create. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to leave the settings for the project the same. We're not changing anything. We're going to go dive directly into the uh, main storyboard. All right. So we're going to add a label on top, and then we're going to add an image underneath it. So how do we do that? We just simply click on the plus. Here's my label, and I'm going to add it here. And I am going to make this label bigger. And I am going to change the label to say great view flower, great image, for example. Anything, right? Now, with the image, with the label, you can set the font if you want by just simply click on this. And then you can make it bigger or smaller. You can select from here the different styles if you want the text styles. If you want to make it title, these are preset settings for you. So you can select either any of these. Title one is usually bigger. Large title, you can make it bigger. And you can select the alignment of this label by saying, I want it to align center. All right text alignment you can now if I type in more more than flowers or the text watch what will happen now notice the this is what we talk about label clipping now when we when I run the application like this we leave it as the, just we leave it like that what will happen is that the the text in that label will not show unless you either do change the size of the font, reduce the text, and if you still want to show that text, you could also make it multiple lines. Huh? I didn't. Okay. Asma does, uh, Maita does not like this font, so I'm going to select a different font. You like iPhone 12 Pro or Max? So, okay, so. Oh my God. <clears throat> so now here is my app. You'll notice that when I look at the text field here with that label that you will have the dot, dot, dot in it, which means that, that the text is being clipped the text being clipped because it does not fit the size of that label. Zane, so what can you do? How can we fix this problem? 
Yeah. Even if you make it, if you make it, either we can change the font and then we go back to the storyboard. Either we can change the font, but it's still, if I want that size of the font, there is not much I can do increasing the label size because I'm stuck. That's it. I don't have enough room. So either that, or if you want to allow multiple lines, but if you want to do that, what happens, you need to make the label bigger. So if I make multiple lines, make it two. Now, if I run it, it will fit in my screen. Now notice, uh, you still have to do lay it out properly. We will do the layout in another chapter where we talk about how we fix these layout problems. All right, so that's how we handle labels and how we handle, what do we do? How do we handle clipping for a label? Now, if we want to include an image in our project, where do we include an image in our project? In the asset folder, you see this asset folder? In the asset folder, what you can do, you can include images, icons, whatever you want related to the project. Typically, we deal with images here. So what are we going to do? We're going to bring that image into the asset folder. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. Drag and drop it here. Now, to make it easier, I'm going to change that from screen shot to say flowers, right? So now I just simply select, drag it into my project. All right. So that image is available for me in my project to use now. So if we go back to the storyboard, the main storyboard, here's my main storyboard, and then we're going to add an image view, an image view. So if I select an image view, if I click on plus, and here, if you go down, 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 or if you don't know, if you can't find it, maybe an easier way, we type image view. All right, and then we're going to add it here. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the background color because right now, when we display it, if I display this, nothing happened. If we display this, you won't see anything. You'll see actually a white thing on the screen. So, if so here is the image this is the label but the image is here but there's nothing showing so what you can do you can change the background color for that image so if i select this guy and i select z background to gray let's select the gray now if I run it, it will have gray background of the image, where that image is going to display. So now I'm going to select the image we want to display, and we're going to play around with that aspect ratio settings to see the effect of that image, of these settings on the image being displayed in the view. So if I go back here, and how do we select an image for this image view. From the property inspector, you will have an image view here. So one of, when you click on the bottom arrow, it will show me the image that I have selected, that I added to my project into the asset folder. So now you'll notice that you have these on the side. Why? Because I said aspect fit. Right? So it kept the, remember, it kept the, uh, the aspect ratio of the image because it's rectangular and it tried to fit it in the screen. Right? But you can change that. You can say, if I want to aspect fill, what will happen? It stretched the image though and it tried to keep the aspect ratio properly. Okay? 
and you need to be careful of that. Maybe sometimes the clipping will happen or it will go outside the boundary of that image. Now what happens with this, if I make it bigger, it keeps the aspect ratio. Do you see that? It kept the aspect ratio. So I don't have to worry about the, but I don't have to worry about the, uh, this is aspect fill to fill. So look, uh, no, they change that. Do you see that? Scale to fill. Scale to fill is a problem because it will stretch the image, right? So if we change it back to aspect fill, so this is okay fit and aspect ratio will actually, will try to aspect fill, it will try to all right. Again, you need to be, you need to be, you need to play around with this to see what is the best setting for your image. Again, when we talk about another chapter called auto layout, hopefully these issues will be resolved. All right. So that's your image of you. You select the image. You can change the background color here in the view. You can change how do you want to uh, display your image, all right? So these are different options that you have, but these are the ones that is covered in the book. Scale to fill, it will try to fill, it, uh, fill the, the, the size of their image as much as possible. Or if you want to use aspect fit, it will keep the aspect ratio, but, ratio, but I try to fit it. And then aspect fill, it will fill the entire screen. I'm trying to keep the aspect ratio, all right? But if I do this, watch what happened now. This is because I said as, because I said aspect fill, right? But if I do aspect to fill, scale to fill, it will try to fill the entire image, and that is a problem. Even if you do aspect fit, the entire, you will have a lot of empty areas in your image, yeah? And Zain, so that is it for this lesson. Now, in the book, what you are being asked to do, you will ask to, To do the lab, basically, I will uh, upload the material for this lab for you. Uh, if you look at, uh, this is it. The lab basically will create multiple images with labels, and then we will add, you will have an application that looks like this, and then they add the labels at the end. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, yeah? All right, so I'm gonna stop recording and you